subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we're back at one of our favorite Goodwills located in Cypress, Texas off of 290. Let's go inside and see what treasures we can discover together. Join me. It's always a pleasure to shop this Goodwill store. The employees take such pride in presenting their wares, and I seem to leave with treasures each time. Welcome to the Goodwill on Highway 290 in Cypress, Texas, just down the road from the Houston Outlet Center. The color of the day is orange. I like to start off the new year with some Goodwill shopping. Come along with me. They always have a great selection at the store and I find that they're replenishing constantly. One of my first stops is the jewelry department. I frequently find James Avery, Artisan and Jewelry, and Kendra Scott. Both of these are Texas designers. It looks like they don't have any for us today, but I'm sure that they'll be putting some more out soon. And they've got some great earrings, necklaces, lots of statement jewelry. And the prices are always great a bangle to complete your outfit. I encourage you to take a look at a previous segment where I found some amazing James Avery jewelry and even a diamond necklace. It was definitely a jackpot day. And here I see an interesting polar bear. I used to sell crystal polar bears to the Coca-Cola company for their winter advertising. $2.99, you could dress them up for the holidays. And a beautiful crystal decanter. $18.99 and purple is the new color that means it has just been put out and it seems like everything I find today has a purple tag isn't that gorgeous look at all those hand cuts and of course we're going to turn it over and look for an acid etched logo and we might just find one it is block crystal that is made in Poland 24% lead crystal Barely in the door and I found a block crystal square decanter. I found the acid edge mark underneath. This is a line that was carried by Macy's, I remember in the 90s. It is Eastern European with the original stopper in perfect condition. $18.99 is a good price. I found a similar block square decanter on replacements for $319. Looks like someone has donated their entire cross collection. Very popular with home decor. And these are more affordable than even shopping your local craft store. And I see something fabulous hidden amongst the crosses. This is a quality piece. Let's look at that backing. It is suede, Natalini, made in Italy for $1.99. This is definitely going in my cart. And Christ the Redeemer, looks like he might be from Brazil. Hand carved. Let's take a closer look. And it is actually from Rio de Janeiro. Must have been brought back from someone's trip. Wouldn't that be a fun addition to your cross collection? At $2.99, it's a great deal. And who knew that owls were so popular? And this one is practical. It's a money bank. You could stuff that with some dollar bills and gift that to a young person for $2.99. Lots of different collectibles. And yet another owl. I like the color on this one. That is fun. And fruit. The ceramic fruit can certainly be displayed in a crystal bowl. It is sold as one lot for $15.99. And yet another owl. You could even paint that if you wanted a different color. And the globe is a nice masculine look for a desk or bookshelf. 
Nativities can be displayed year round. I have a friend who has quite a vast collection. Ray Dunn is a popular collectible. At $4.99, this ceramic birdhouse is brand new, has never been used, still with the tags. And I'll share towards the end of my shopping day how another shopper will utilize this and upcycle it. A kitchen item that is quite practical with a bit of history. We'll take a look at this dish that will take you from the oven to tabletop to the fridge. I like finding a bit of history at Goodwill. The McKee Glass Company started the Glass Bake line in 1917 to compete with Pyrex. And here you can see that logo on the base. It's priced at $9.99. And this was meant to be able to bake in the oven, serve on the table, and to secure the leftovers in the fridge. It can take all different temperatures. And that's just a fun piece to add to your kitchen collection. I love this cobalt teapot with the brass accents. It reminds me of Chantal, very practical item, but I use an electric kettle, so I'll pass on that. And a napkin holder. Could definitely utilize that for mail as well. Lots of different mugs. Get so many ideas shopping Goodwill. And of course, the cart diving is the best. And here is the catch of the day. A gurgle pot, brand new with tags, $24. And this one is a deal. Gurgle pots are such fun. They actually make a bit of a chirping noise when you pour liquids from it. This is the Gail Pittman design for Southern Living at Home, which is a company that's no longer in business. And these are great beverage dispensers and they will also sell rather quickly. That's one thing that I've noticed about this Goodwill location. Things fly off the shelves. And there are many project pieces here as well. And I love meeting shoppers and hearing how they can create unique pieces from these. A water bowl for your pets, $2.99. And Pyrex is always practical. These are actually quite expensive retail. $2.99 is a very fair price. An all-purpose terrine at $15.99. This is ceramic. It doesn't have a great back stamp on it. Probably would not pay $15.99. Maybe if you get it for half price, that would be worth it. For deviled eggs, this is a newer dish, possibly made by Anchor Hawking. Priced at $2.99. And these are becoming harder to find, I'm hearing from lots of viewers. So maybe not a bad deal. You could be rodeo ready with this tray. You can use it in so many ways. Priced at $19.99. Again, a purple sticker, meaning it just hit the shelf. Trays are practical and work with so many design styles. This one I think would be great for the rustic look, which is very appropriate for Texas. Rodeo season, isn't that fun? I can see that for decanters, barware, for $19.99, that's a good deal. But I think I'll put this back and let someone else have it. I can hardly believe my eyes. The Fostoria American Ice Bucket, which can double as an Easter basket. You could place a plant inside, fill it with chips, candy. You could even use that as a Halloween bucket for a display. A great seasonal and everyday item. Too good to be true. Priced at $2.99. A fantastic Pastoria find in our favorite American pattern, which was made for many decades at $2.99. This is a great deal. I found these online for $50 and up. This is definitely going home with me today. From the Bombay Company, this retired coffee pot was part of a larger coffee and tea service. I acquired this at an estate sale, which I featured early in the channel. I encourage you to take a look at that segment. I later sold it to a friend in my gift sale. At $24.99, I would wait for purple to be the color of the week, unless that is something you've been looking for that might be missing in your set. Lots of ceramic studio finds. I see these flooding antique stores as well. And who doesn't love the Cookie Monster? $2.99. Small creamers are practical. You can use them for dessert sauce, syrup with breakfast. 
And this was a very popular pattern that's promoted by a large box store that unfortunately is no longer open. And I'll tell you more about this pattern. It's a beautiful piece. This sweet white creamer is something that I'm taking home. It is in the Nevea pattern, that is bone china, made by Fitz and Floyd for Bed Bath & Beyond. That was one of their patterns that they encourage for bridal selection. My cousin chose this, and that is heaven spelled backwards. You'll notice the difference in shading here with the ceramic versus the bone china. This takes on sort of a blue hue, and I do prefer this color. I will gift that to my cousin, and it's perfect for salad dressing and so many other purposes. This gilt and mirrored riser I found in the cart behind me, and I'm definitely taking this home for $9.99 actually have my Waterford King's Bowl placed on it right now on my dining server. I always take a look at artwork. You never know what you'll find. Sometimes I've even been lucky enough to find Sid Dickens tiles, which I've sold in my eBay store. And if you have a home theater, they've got lots of artwork for you. At $14.99, it's even more affordable than shopping Hobby Lobby. This I especially liked. It's beautifully framed and matted. The Village Elms, Sunday Morning in New England. That would be a nice focal point for a living room or a study. I think that's a fantastic find, $34.99. If I had a blank wall, I would have taken it home. And a bit of Texas here, Home on the Range. Signed by the artist, Maxine Smith. And it's priced at $29.99. And I can tell from the frame it is from the 1970s. And some more theater art. Come along with me to the Treasure Island area of the store. I always find great deals and they're busy replenishing today, so we might find some new things as we shop. There's always something fun to discover at Treasure Island. And I will tell you that as I am showcasing items, they are replenishing and you'll see more and more things as we go along. A bit of country chic here. I think that must be from the 1970s. You can actually do quite a lot with a wreath. A vintage 1970s patchwork wreath. You could place this on your door or it could be on a table with a bowl inside for a very casual country look. And I think that's a really neat piece for $9.99. You never know what you'll find at Goodwill, including something rather exotic. A pair of bookends for $200. Who knows the story behind these? Perhaps they were brought back on some travels. Quite interesting items here in this case. The orchids are beautiful. Love the cobalt glass dishes. I could spend hours right here discovering the items, especially as they're replenishing, and they take such pride in displaying these wares. I'm very impressed with all of the beautiful finds here. And this is part of a popular collection. I'll tell you more about the history, and I wonder if you might have this. If so, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Avon's 1876 Cape Cod collection was inspired by a Roman rosette pattern from the Boston and Sandwich Glass Works, a company that started in 1825. And this collection was made by the Wheaton Glass Company. And I was a bit surprised and pleased that the Avon Cape Cod is sold as a set, which is a bit unusual. I would think they would have priced them separately. And if you look closely, it is $29.99 for 22 pieces. That is an excellent price. This dish could be used for jewelry as well. Really like that two-part dish. My friends at My Take on Home and Garden have quite a collection of the Avon Cape Cod that they featured on their channel. If you're not familiar with My Take on Home and Garden, I encourage you to pop over to their channel. They set beautiful tables and have incredible collections and home tours. And the pitcher, of course, is an all-purpose item. This really is a bargain and great opportunity to add to your Avon Cape Cod. And of course, ruby glass goes with almost every season. You can't go wrong with that. It's a great choice. And the goblets are especially nice. Could also be used as candle holders. 
The Cape Cod collection is highly collectible and still popular today. It was made from 1975 to 1992. This goblet is $12 at Replacements Limited, and I think this is a bargain for the entire collection. The cobalt glass is fantastic. I can see this with red transferware or even blue willow. Priced at $29.99 for 16 pieces. It has an interesting design to it, and I think that would be a great addition to your tabletop collection. And a bit of Japanese here with the jewelry box. Let's open it up and see. It looks to be in very good condition. With that hand painting, lacquerware, some unusual finds here in Treasure Island today. And I do notice that lots of folks in the area must have traveled because they have some of the more unusual exotic finds. And here's the original sticker made in Japan, priced at $12.99. And that's probably a company from the 1960s. They've just added this box. What a deal at $14.99. Look at all that hand painting. And you could easily keep this in a living room, put your TV remote inside, the bedroom for jewelry, just about anything you can imagine. Even maybe put it on your bar for your wallet and keys to tuck it away nicely. And I can't take it all home, but I did find this quite interesting. So many uses for this. I just love it. And the larger one is priced at $14.99. They keep bringing things out. And there it is, Japan. So we have the country of origin. The miniature tea sets are quite nice. It might be for decorative purposes only. You always want to turn it over to see if it is food safe. And these are priced at $24.99 for each of the mini tea sets. Someone had a nice collection. I love the colors. Let's turn it over. Made in China. Very appropriate. And this, I think, is my favorite find. What do you think about this for $6.99? Carved Jade. I would expect to find this in an antique store, perhaps, but not in Goodwill. They're full of surprises today. Lots of chinoiserie and Japanese influences with items that were recently donated and so nicely displayed here. This is the find of the day. It is a carved jade bird. I found this online for $100. It sold recently at an auction, probably worth more than that. A very good price at $6.99 today. A pressed glass amber set. Look at that Greek key or meandering design. I'm thinking this was sold as a set with some liqueur, priced at $11.99 for five pieces. It has an original sticker on it. If you happen to know more about the origin of this, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. I'm always learning. This is an individual saucer, not a set for $12.99. I would probably pass on this. I think it's a maybe a bit more than I would ever consider paying. It is made in England by Johnson Brothers and it is the fruit sampler pattern. And the blue and white delft I'm always looking for, complete with the ribbon. At $1.99, I'm definitely going to take these home because I do have plans for these. And this has some embellishment you normally don't find on the delft shoes really like these. I do find these every once in a while. I'm glad to have these today. I like to pick up the Delft style shoes wherever I see them. For $1.99, this is going to be a great addition to my very small Christmas tree in the dining room with lots of chinoiserie and blue and white elements. And this is unique because it has Dutch Curacao on the shoe. These will be fun. I'm always looking for anything German. Look at this, Hopf und Malz Gott erhalts, which basically means may God sustain the hops and malt for beer making, of course. Made by Gautz in West Germany, priced at $14.99, and that predates 1990. Belique is not something I really ever find at Goodwill. Quite surprised, $14.99 with the green back stamp. 
That is a nice find. I do purchase lots of Belique at Still Good Consignment, and because I can find it at a similar price, I'll probably hold off on this, but that really is a nice item. Looks like a Dutch boy and girl salt and pepper shakers. And a hand-painted egg cup. Porcelain painting was very popular. Made in occupied Japan, that tells us it's from the 1940s, early 50s. This looks like Haviland Limoges. Absolutely it is. Made in France. And that is a sweet berry bowl, priced at $6.99. Could use it for jewelry or just about anything else. Even lemons on your table. Bowls are very practical. Love that back stamp. Here's some more jade. $5.99 for this turtle, but I think my jade bird is a much better quality. More frames, and no surprise, we find some more of this fantastic Italian brand. Natalini. Even on eBay, these go for 25 plus shipping. So I know that these are fantastic deals. This is a larger one. And it's nice to have these on hand for great gifting. And it's a masculine look as well, which sometimes you really need to have in your gift closet. I grow big and bold with red. It's always worth looking in the frame section. I've even found a Waterford Crystal cake stand there before at a different Goodwill. Today I'm finding some fantastic Italian frames and I found them throughout the store. This is the Natalini brand. Aren't they beautiful? Such detail. They're definitely not boring frames and they are $50 and up on Amazon. And these are anywhere from 99 cents to $1.99. They have all seasons at Goodwill, and you always have to think ahead if this is something that you could utilize in your decor. Lots of new items hitting the shelf as I am winding down my shopping day. This is perfect for fall decor. It is hand-blown glass. Look at all that detail. If you've ever seen the technique of making this, it is quite interesting, and you will know that the value is there. $4.99, perfect for the autumn look. I'm going to share with you a lady's cart full of treasures. Had a nice chat with her and I, of course, had to inquire what her plans were for all these pieces. And she has a business where she exhibits at craft fairs and she transforms these pieces into a Mackenzie Child's inspired design. She will take this wood frame and add that checkerboard look. Such creativity. It's not always about what you see, it's what you can imagine it to be. And these will be fantastic pieces. I would love to shop at her craft fair. And all of these will have a new life and a new home too, since she does sell these and works on them all year round. Even the cake pedestal will be transformed. Just love to learn from everyone with their Brilliant ideas, and that snowman will be spectacular. Wish I could see the finished product. And these are my finds today. I am so pleased with the frames, the jade, the ice bucket, and of course the Delft shoes. Such great items, and the price is right. We've got some wonderful gifts here and that pedestal piece I can use in so many different ways. So glad you joined me today for Goodwill Shopping. Always a wonderful way to start the new year. Found some great treasures at amazing prices. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with Goodwill Shopping.